What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and today I've got a quick little tutorial where I'm going to share with you a, a great tip on how can you import PDF files into Revit or AutoCAD. Now in Revit we don't really have any options for importing PDF so there's a bit of a workaround but in the end you get your PDF inside of Revit. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay so as you can see I'm here in Revit and if we go here to the insert tab we have a bunch of options and none of these say PDF so we cannot really uh, import PDF. One of the options we have is an image. So if you have an, a PDF that's just an image PDF, what you can do is, if I just minimize Revit here, here I have a test PDF. I can just open this up in software like Photoshop and then just open it up, save it as a JPEG. So just go save as, go back to your desktop and just save it as a JPEG. Go save, okay, exit out of that. And now you can use this image and just import it, uh, import that image into your uh, into your Revit project. So I can place it like this. But this doesn't really work because we don't have any lines. So if you have a PDF that's just an image, it can work. But if you need to use any of these lines, it's it's pretty much useless. If you go and perhaps you want to place walls and you go with pick lines, you cannot really pick any of these lines. So let me delete this image and let me show you how to get a vector a PDF into Revit. And for that, we need to use AutoCAD. So here I have this uh, PDF, but first let's open up a an AutoCAD project. So here I am in AutoCAD. And here uh, you have your Home tab and next to that you have your Insert tab. And there for Point Cloud you have your PDF, or sorry, on Import you have your PDF Import. And we have a few options over here. Uh, you just need to click uh, on the top button over here and you get this uh, Select PDF uh, file option. Now here you have your test project and in this case this is the one that I'm going to be using this test PDF file and you just hit open and you get this dialog. Now here you've got a bunch of options so if you have a multiple page uh, PDF you can choose which page you want to import and uh, then here you have your uh, scale or end rotation if you want to edit any of those. So maybe if you have a PDF that's gonna uh, a title block with uh, just that what that was ready to print and it's in 1 to 50 then you can kind of scale it up so it's 1 to 1 when you load it into Revit or something like that. Then we've got some PDF data uh, to import so uh, just make sure you check vector geometry. This is the most important part. The, this is what's going to allow you to have uh, lines for all of this so it's all going to be in vectors. Then you've got uh, true, uh, true type text. This really means that you're going to be able to open up text so it, if it was saved inside of that uh, PDF from some text document you're going to be able to edit that text. Uh, then you have here uh, use PDF layers, so if, if that PDF was saved in some uh, program that uses layers, you're going to be able to access those layers, so that's really important. You can create object layers, so if it, if it isn't, you can kind of uh, let AutoCAD choose uh, for itself and kind of create some layers for you to use. Uh, then you have current layer that basically just loads it into the current layer so it doesn't create any new layers. Then you have import as block. Again, if you want to create a block, this can work. Then you've got the join lines and arc segments. This is just going to be kind of a connecting geometry a, a, a little bit more or line work. Then you have convert solid fills to hatches. This is what I always like to have checked. Now out of the box, this doesn't come checked, but I always check it. This is just going to allow you to have all of the solid fills you have on your in your geometry appear as hatch in Revit, and then you can edit that hatch. Then we have apply line weights to line weight properties. That's really important. You want to have all of those line weights. And before I hit OK, just one more important thing uh, to, to share with you is uh, this is only available if you have uh, Autodesk AutoCAD 2017 and newer. So if you have any older version of AutoCAD, uh, just keep in mind that you won't really have this PDF import uh, option. So just make sure you're using the, the current version of AutoCAD. 
Okay, so I'm just going to hit OK, and here we go. So here we got this text. Now this text was saved just as a line work, so it appears as just lines. But if we go to this text over here, you're going to notice that we have text. So when it's selected, I can uh, I can move it over here on this button, just like regular text in Revit. But if I double click, as you can see, this text. So we can edit this text. And here we have that hatch. So this was just saved as solid fill, but actually you can now use that because it saved it as hatch. You can actually make some modifications to it if that's something you desire. So you can kind of play around if you want. I'm just going to leave it solid. Okay, so we've got this uh, within uh, AutoCAD. And what I also like to do is go maybe here to Home tab, just measure this so it's about Eight, so just so I know some basic scale when I load this into Revit. So you need to save this as AutoCAD file. I'm just going to save it on desktop as, I don't know, project two, who cares? And now if I minimize AutoCAD and open up Revit, I'm going to be able to open that up. So just go here to import CAD or link CAD. Uh, import means that you can't really change it once it's uh, imported. Link means that you're going to be able to make some changes to that AutoCAD file and then just kind of refresh the link. I'm just going to use import for this option. And here I'm just going to change the import units to meters so that that number eight appears in meters. And let's just unpin it to move it around. So uh, now you cannot really move it around, but if you unpin it, you can. And let's just scale it up a bit more. There you go. And now if I go here to walls and use pick lines, I can actually place walls over these lines. Oops, okay, there we go. So yeah, as you can see, that's how it works. Okay, so that's how you import PDF files into Revit and be able to actually use the, the line work for your Revit project. And if you liked this tutorial, well, then I suggest you just follow what this PDF says. Okay, so that's pretty much it for uh, this tutorial. If you want to get some advanced Revit courses, I suggest you check out my Patreon or if you want to download project files for all of the projects that I do and all of the tutorials, uh, again, check out my Patreon first link in the description. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for any future tutorials, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching guys and have a nice day.